Hello, Matthews Gatos here. In this video, we're going to look at surface area of pyramids. Now, what is surface area? Well, when you find the area of like a square or a rectangle, that's a two-dimensional face. But if you put all those two-dimensional faces together, you make a 3D shape. And the area of all those faces added up that makes that 3D shape, that's surface area. So we're going to look at pyramids, right pyramids. And right pyramids just means that the height is at a 90 degree angle. They're a 3D shape with triangle faces and polygon bases. So polygons like squares, triangles, rectangles, etc. Pyramids are named by the shape of their base. So let's look at the different parts of a pyramid. So at the very top of the pyramid, you guys have a vertex, the apex or the vertex. And if I follow that line down, like perpendicularly to the middle of the base, that's called the height, the vertical height. Now the base is the bottom of the shape and we also have slant height. So slant height is the height of the triangle faces, but that's not the height of the pyramid because it's on a slant. So the vertical height of the pyramid is on the inside, the slant height is on the outside, which is the height of the triangle. Now, slant height is what I need for surface area. So S, slant height, S, surface area. When we get to volume, you'll see that V, vertical height, goes with V, volume. So, like I said, pyramids are named by their bases. If I were to actually unfold a pyramid, I would have these nets. So I would have the triangle faces and then I would have the base in the middle. So for example, this one here is a square pyramid because the base is a square. This is a triangular pyramid because the base is a triangle. This is a rectangular pyramid because the base is a rectangle. And notice there's triangles going all around it. So if I want to find the surface area of a pyramid, I think about that net and I just find the area of each of the faces. So for example, if I had a rectangular base, I would find the area of the base. So I would look at the area of this whole base, which is right here. And then since it's a rectangle, I know that there are one, two, three, four triangles attached to the sides. So I just need to find the area of those triangles. Add it all up, and that's how I get surface area. So let's try an example here. So I want to find the surface area of this square pyramid. So I know that the base is a square. The area of a square, well, square is just a special rectangle, so the area of a rectangle is length times width. But with a square, the length and the width are the same. So 13 times 13, 169 centimeters squared. That's the base. Now, because it's a square, the four triangles attached to the base are all the same. So let's look at our triangle faces. So looking at our triangle faces here, you can see the base is 13 and the slant height, which is the height of the triangle, is 9. So area of a triangle is base times height divided by 2. So base 13 multiplied by height 9 divided by 2. So I do 13 multiplied by 9 and then I just divide it by 2 and I get 58.5. But that's just one triangle. Remember, there are four. So I need to multiply that by four. So the area of all the triangle faces are 234 centimeters squared. So now for surface area, all I have to do is add them up. So 169 for the area of the base plus 234, which is the area of the triangular faces. So all together, my surface area is 403 centimeters squared. Let's try another example. So in this example, you can see I'm given the vertical height, but I said slant height is needed for surface area. So this one here is a little bit trickier. Now, in this example here, I just want to find the lateral surface area. Now, all lateral means is 
it doesn't include the base. So I'm just looking at the triangles. So I'm gonna have to do a little bit of work here because I don't have the height of the triangles. I also notice that my base is a rectangle, so that means that the triangle attached to this side is the same as the triangle attached to this side, but the triangle attached to this side is the same as this one. So because it's not a square, I can't times it by four. I have to do the two sides and the other two sides together. So let's look at the first one. So I'm going to take this triangle and I'm going to kind of slide it in here so you guys can see. It's really on the inside of the pyramid because that's where the height of the pyramid is. And we're given the height of the pyramid. So we know the height of the pyramid, but I want to find this side here, which is the slant height, which is the height of that triangular face. So look at my triangle here. I have one side of 100. And then this side here is 42 because the center of the base and the apex or the vertex connect to be the height. So I know that this piece here, 42, is half of the base. So I've got half of the base there and half of the base there. So since the whole base is 84, 84 divided by 2 is 42. So what I need to do is I need to find my slant height here, which is the hypotenuse of a right triangle. So we're going to go to our good friend Pythagorean theorem. So a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Now a and b don't really matter. It's c that's the most important part. So we're trying to find our slant height, so that's side c. So I usually call the horizontal side a and the vertical side b because vertical is tall like the letter b, but it honestly doesn't matter which one you do. So on my calculator, I'm going to do 42 squared plus 100 squared, and I get 11,764 equals C squared. Now that's not the slant height, that's the hypotenuse squared. So the opposite of squaring a number is square rooting a number. So I need to take the square root of this number here. So the square root of one, sorry, 11,764 is, and we're going to round it to the nearest tenth, 108.5, and that's centimeters. Okay, so now that we know the slant height, we can actually find the area of the triangle on that side. So the area of the triangle, if I draw it like this, I know has a base, this is the triangle I'm talking about right here, okay, I know it has a base of 68, and now I just calculated what the height was, and that is 108.5. So let's do the area of that triangle. The area of that triangle is base times height divided by 2. So I'll just do this over here. Area is base multiplied by height divided by 2. So put that into my calculator. 68 times 108.5 divided by 2, and I get that my area is 3,689. But remember, there are two of them, one on this side, one on this side. So I'll just times that by 2, and I'm halfway there, 7,378 centimeters squared. Okay, now let me just erase this stuff here so we can do the other side. Okay, so I'll start with a clean slate. We don't need that one anymore. Okay, now let's look at the other triangle. So I'm going to slide this over here. So again, there's the height, okay? And I have a different triangle now. So I'm trying to find the triangle that, or the height of the triangle that's attached to this side and this side here, which ends up being the hypotenuse. So this slant height, again, side C is there. Now this time, the height is still the same. The height is on the inside of the triangle, or the, sorry, the inside of the pyramid. This is my height right there. But the base runs parallel to this base here. So see how this base here is 68? Remember, it's attached to the center, so it divides it into two. So that's how I got 34. So I need to find that slant height now, which is the height of the triangle on the base side of 84. So using Pythagorean theorem again, I have a squared plus b squared equals c squared. 
So let's plug that into our calculator. 34 squared plus 100 squared equals, and I get 11,156 is equal to C squared. So C is just the square root of that number there. So square root of that is 105.6. So that's my slant height. Now remember, this is now, and I'll change colors here. This is now, I'm figuring out the area of this triangle face, which is the same as the one on the back. So area equals base, which is 84, times height, which I just found was 105.6, divide by two. So I have 84 times 105.6, divide by two, and I get 4,435.2. But again, there are two of them. Multiply it by two. This is 8,870.4 centimeters squared. So now to figure out the surface area, I just have to find the sum of all those areas. So we had two triangles had an area of that. The other two triangles had an area of that. I'm going to add those together to get my final surface area. So 8,870.4 plus 7,378 gives me a whopping surface area of 16,248.4, don't forget your units, centimeters squared. So that is how you find the surface area of a pyramid when you don't have the slant height.